Talking about that, that's the new movie, Concussion, which follows the story of a doctor trying to tackle the issue of brain injuries, mostly in the NFL. And joining us now to talk more about this and the topic of concussions is Dr. Anthony Petralia. He's a neurosurgeon and director of the concussion program for Rochester Regional Health. Uh, Doc, thanks so much for being here today. Um, what is CTE? Because that's really what the movie focuses on, right? Yeah, so C CTE is, is, stands for chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And uh, it's really a, a disease in the story, really, the movie kind of kind of takes you through the, the, uh, the sort of path that Dr. Omelu, who's a neuropathologist, and Dr. Julian Bale, the neurosurgeon, my mentor, one of my mentors, um, in really confronting the NFL with what is a real disease. And we think that this is a disease of repetitive head injury. Players, we're not sure whether there's a genetic component, a number of concussions or sub-concussions um, that accrue over a player's lifetime. And uh, these players ultimately go on for a long playing career. And there's a little latency where then they go on to develop symptoms subtly. Uh, failed marriages, failed relationships, depression, uh, substance abuse, drug abuse suicidal ideation. Many of them commit suicide, and that's how we've really come to learn about this disease. And we do know of one uh, NFL player, unfortunately, that did commit suicide, yeah. that they found out later he did have this, right? Sure, yeah, there have been several. Junior Seau, um, uh, and, and even some currently living that are, are felt to, to, to be dealing with the, the, the symptoms of, of CTE. Um, I think the important thing is that this is a, a rare disease. I, I think that the pendulum sort of swings, and there's a lot of hype uh, that comes with this and a lot of fear. Um, but when you really look at the spectrum of, of, of people that play contact and collision sports over uh, one's lifetime, it's really a small percentage and a small number of people that go on to develop this in sort of its, its extreme form. There's probably a, a far greater number of people that are dealing with some of the sequela of repetitive head injuries, concussive and subconcussive, that maybe are dealing with PTSD or uh, anxiety or depression or sleep issues. Um, and those are the sort of the numbers and the masses that we really want to, you know, look after. Now, CTE can't be diagnosed until someone has already passed, right? Um, yeah, there's, you know, that's sort of the standard. There's been a lot of necropsy studies that have, uh, you know, that's how we've come to learn about this disease. But there's some ongoing cutting-edge research. There's uh, work out of UCLA, um, some new cutting-edge neuroimaging studies that are trying to look at this tau protein uh, that is found in players with CTE and imaging it while they're alive. But even that being said, if we were to figure it out, um, would there be anything to do about it? Not sure. Well, now, you and I were talking earlier, and, uh, you know, we're talking mostly about, you know, kids, and you were saying parents, they need to be aware of this, but not let it rule their kid's life, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, uh, again, you, you watch a movie like this, you see high-profile professional athletes, you know, committing suicide, uh, dealing with long-term issues. It can certainly give people pause. Um, the thing to remember is that, you know, uh, people that aren't con you know, playing in contact or collision sports, they're not just necessarily partaking in risk aversive behaviors. They just as easily be out drag racing or jumping sure. off of bridges or, or uh, partaking in risky activities. So I think, you know, it's good for parents to be aware. It's the movie and, and, and the disease in general has increased and raised awareness for concussion um, uh, as a real thing. And uh, that increased awareness has really allowed us to take care of our youth athletes, frankly, a lot better. All right. Dr. Anthony Petralia, thank you so much for coming in tonight. We do appreciate it.